Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a three box random team break of 2019-2020 Select Basketball random team break number 12. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. This is our last three box break, at least at this price point for the time. We're all out of cases. All the cases that we have left are tied up in the pick your teams that are available on jazbeescasebreaks.com, but we don't have any more available for three boxers. If we find some more, we'll post some more of that select basketball. Might be at a different price point, though. Um, but thanks to everyone who got into all of these ones. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Each list. Two and a four, six times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six and final time. We got Brian Callahan down to TJ Leonard. Two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six and final time. After six times, we got the Dallas Mavericks all the way down to the Houston Rockets. Got smoked by the Clippers last night. I thought that was going to be a little more competitive. All right, Brian with the Dallas Mavericks. Clippers are scary. Kevin with the Hawks. Chance with the Spurs. Mark with the Hornets and the Heat. James, you got the T-Wolves. Ziong with the Pacers. Matt with the Pelicans. Nice. Brian Callahan with the Grizzlies. That's also nice. Seth with the Magic. Kings for James. Roger with the Suns. That's Eastwood. Derek Billings, you got the Golden State Warriors. He's looking for train whistles. TJ Leonard, Utah Jazz. Matt, you got my Lakers and the Celtics. Seth with the Raptors, Anthony with the Knicks, Mark with the Bucks, George with the Pistons, Last Spot Mojo, Andy with the Trailblazers, John with the Sixers, Danny with the Cavs, Nick with the Nets, Zyung with the Nuggets, Cameron with the Thunder, Stephen Kendrick with the Bulls, David with the Clippers, Mark with the Wizards, and TJ Leonard with the Houston Rockets. What up, Marcus? L Lakers... Lakers uh, concern face? Is that a concern face? Why are, are you are you concerned? And remember, these are the little slash marks I made, so you know they're all from the same case right there. Three boxes. It'll be a pretty quick break too. All right, I'm gonna pause the video, allow for some trades, uh, chatter, and then we'll come back and we'll do the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but. At the end, no deals were done. So here is the final printout. Good luck, everybody. Final quarter of this case. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what's inside. A lot of NBA fun happening today, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of NBA fun happening. Let me give you some scores here on a Friday, the 6th, March the 6th, 2020. Nets beat the Spurs 139-120. to Karis LeVert, 27-11-10. and Man, that guy's been balling out. Uh, Wizards beat the Hawks 118-112. Suns beat the Trailblazers 127-117. Mavs smoked the Grizz, 121-96. Pelicans beat the Heat. That was, that was a pretty good game, 110-104. Magic beat the Timberwolves, 132-118 in Minnesota. Pacers beat the Bulls, 108-102. Uh, Jazz edged out the Celtics, 99-94. Thunder beat the Knicks, 126-103. They were cruising. And my Lakers in action right now here in Los Angeles. They're the late game on ESPN. Bucks up 38-29 on the Lakers and the Lakers just Alex Caruso just hit a three 38 32 I think this should be a good game should be an excellent game Did you have Pacers under 211 game was 210 Sweat that one out. How's my day doing? I, I was on the, the the Wizards. I got that. 
I was on uh, OKC. I got that. Uh, lost the uh, lost the Red Sox. Lost the uh, Celtics game. Lost the Minnesota game. Won the Pelicans game. And if I win, I got Lakers at Pickham last night. I think they I think this game closed at minus one and a half or something. So I was on the right side of the number. They just need to win outright. And then I'll, my day will be, I'll be four and two on the day, which would be nice. I'm going to open up all these boxes. It's a lot better than three and three. Now ESPN is billing this as a as a finals preview. Is is this a finals preview? I don't know. I love my Lakers. They got a lot of work to do though. And they got a lot of work to do. I need I need Kyle Kuzma to be a third a good third scoring option like right now. Come on, Kuz. I need that from Kyle Kuzma. But I think he's still trying to figure out how to how to play with this brand new roster. I do love Alex Caruso though. But I think I mean I like Lakers got a lot of good role players. Avery Bradley, Jared Dudley, Markeith Morris, love Dwight Howard off the bench, you know, but if, I mean, knock on wood, if LeBron or Anthony Davis are, are out for an extended period of time for whatever reason, it's going to be tough for them to win playoff games, that's for sure. They need that, they need a third guy, Not, and I'm not talking like a, like an all-star or anything like that, but a third guy to maybe be a little more consistent. Outside shots are an issue for them too. They could use, I mean, yeah, Danny Green needs to hit those. That's right, Marcus. Danny Green needs to be the guy shooting those, knocking down those threes for us, for the Lakers. <sighs> we'll see. At least the Lakers will be in the playoffs. <laughs> I think you're right, Chance. I think Kuz has to step up, right? He's the one that has the highest ceiling. All these other guys are like kind of solid vet players, but you need you need Kuz is the young guy that has the biggest ceiling. He needs to take the biggest step forward. Rondo could well, I think everyone's assuming it's gonna be playoff Rondo that shows up. Nobody wants regular season Rondo. Everyone wants playoff Rondo though. All right, there's Rick Smits, 143 to 199. Pacers, that goes to Ziang and the Pacers. Right, one thing that's noticeable, though, is that Zion. Frank, uh, Frank Vogel, Coach Frank, Coach Vogel has definitely improved the defense on this team. Like, noticeably. Like, within month one, I was like, what's this defense happening here? Something that... Something that... Uh, that Luke Walton just didn't quite get out of the Lakers. To 149, Kellen Johnson, White Prism. And there's Shaquille O'Neal. Lakers relic for Matthew Hedges, who's got my Lakers. Oh, Brian saying you believe the Bucks and Lakers are co-faves to win the title in Vegas at two to one. Wow. So this is not just ESPN bluster, huh? This is this is definitely a finals preview. I'd watch seven games of this: LeBron versus Giannis. There's Jalen Noel to two ninety nine. R.J. Barrett. Another Zion. Pelicans, that's two, Matt. Probably cover the spot already. Off 
RJ going to Anthony, and Jalen Noel going to James and the T Wolves. And there's a silver Giannis. Nice. That goes. Who's got Milwaukee? Mark Matson. I randomized the Bucks in this one. Blake Griffin to 199. <laughs> Nasir Lil, yeah, where where's that ESPN money for more chairs? All right, we got uh, is that Nasir? Yes, Nasir Little for Andy and the Trailblazers. Paul George, Clip Show, Clippers are scary. Scary team. Jersey and autograph, New York Knicks, Ignis Bradzikis for uh, Anthony Raimondi and the New York Knickerbockers to 199. There's a Grant Williams die cut to 249 for the Celtics. That goes to Matt Hedges. Silver Grant Williams. There's Anthony Davis. Ray, you're back in the action. Good to hear. It's Jaron Jackson Jr. Matisse Tybel die cut to 99. That Seku is not a silver, but it is one of those courtside ones. Just shorter printed than the others. Pistons, George Dang. There's no one else on the Pistons, George. Uh, Tybel will go to John Ryder. No one else on the Pistons. So Seku Dumboya getting some opportunities, which I like. I think his value's been steadily increasing throughout the season. Next box. Daniel Gafford to 299 for the Bulls. That'll be for Stephen Kendrick. And Mont Montrezel Harrell, X Factor jersey and autograph for David Bruins and the Clippers. Yeah, there were a couple of weird fouls late in the last couple of possessions there, Marcus. Oh, that's called it's a jump ball. There's Bruno Fernando for Kevin and the Hawks, silver. I don't know. I'm not, I'm usually not complaining about the refs guy, but That's kind of a couple weird calls just out of the corner of my eye. There's Nasir Little. Rookie Silver. Derek Rowe. I don't mind, Marcus, as long as Lakers get some calls towards the end of the game. They get some, some non-calls or a couple calls going their way at the end of the game. A little home cooking. I'll be okay with that. There's Alonzo Trier. All cards ship in the select, by the way, so all these will go to you. Nice Hachimura, 249. Mark Madsen got randomized to the Wizards. And Peja Stojakovic. Sacramento Kings, that'll be for James M. Jaron Jackson Jr. Under 225 for this game. What's the second half total? Take a look at that second half total. I might take over on the second half total. James Harden to 199. Basketball fans in the chat, are, are we buying this whole small lineup, Houston Rockets thing, or does that just get exposed in the playoffs? They got exposed by the Clippers. But I don't know if that was just because they were the, they were facing the Clippers, or if if the Clippers kind of figured out how to get out. Of, I don't know. Clippers can play a lot, a lot of different ways, so maybe they were just good matchup. Sixers, John Ryder, 
Jalen Noel, T Wolves, James, rookie silver. John Morant, that's pretty nice too. Brian Callahan with the Grizz. Nice. It's a premier level as well with that sort of scope pattern in the background. Hey, rookie silvers, always got to save those. All right, third and final box. We got pick your teams in the store, folks. I don't think we'll have time for one of those tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Luka Doncic Silver is not too shabby. Brian Callahan and the Mavs. Even second year Luka. We got Victor Oladipo. Throwback jersey. See, this is this guy right here is why is why like you never know what can happen in basketball. You throw it back to the Orlando Magic, you're like Victor Oladipo. I remember in breaks, people are like, "Oh, Oladipo," you know. Nobody wanted this guy. You know, nobody wanted this guy. But now he's he now you can consider him a top one of the top players in the NBA. So that's why you never know. Like, hold on to Brandon Clark's. You know, hold on to any of those. You know, Kevin Porter Jr., who knows? You know, not everyone can be like Zion and just jump in and... Well, I mean, that's why Zion's number one overall pick, but... It's Darius ba Who knows? Darius Baisley, gold, OKC. Cameron. Might as well hang on to him. Out of 10. Nasir Little, silver. John Morant. Another one for Brian and the Grizz. Just a base, but still nice. Ooh, this is nice. John Morant, silver. How about that? Take that for data. That goes to Brian Callahan and the Memphis Grizzlies. Got randomized. The Grizz gets the silver jaw Morant. Your presumptive rookie of the year. Unless, unless people people fall in love with Zion, that'd be unfair. That'd be that'd be cruel to uh, jaw Morant. Mo Bamba, seven out of twenty-five tie-dye die cut. That'll go to the Orlando Magic Seth with the Magic. Got Malcolm Brogdon to 249. And the last hit here is a redemption. It's going to be Josh Richardson. Signatures Neon Green Prime. Miami Heat? To the checklist, groupratechecklist.com. Help us out. I call to you. Let's click select basketball in 2019 2020. Group break checklist by team. There's the PDF. Josh Richardson. Card number nine, signatures. No, he's 76ers. 76ers. Who, else, who am I thinking of? Was he ever on the Heat? I think you have a different Richardson. No, Ryan, you got it. Ryan C. was like, Philly? Yeah, you got it. John Ryder with the Sixers. You get a free top loader out of this, too. Ah, he started with started with the Heat, 2015-2019. Then went to the Sioux Fall Sky Force, and now he's on the Sixers. So there you go. And there you have it. Nice three-box break. That was random team number 12. We don't have any more, I'm afraid. We've run out of cases. All the cases that we have remaining are for the pick your teams on jazpiecasebreaks.com. But 
Maybe we'll try to dig up another case or two for random teams. So it might be a different price point, but at least we'll have some random teams here to work on. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.